Hello friends, I hope you're all having a fabulous day today. So I've received so many beautiful comments recently on my nails and you guys really liking them. Um, I've been doing press on nails for the last few months now and I've tried a bunch of different brands and I finally come across one that actually works really well. So I have been loving the Kiss brand nails. Now this is not a sponsored video or anything. I just got into press on nails because I've been getting um, gel nails and I just didn't have time to keep going back into the salon and taking Kai and he was getting sick of it and I thought I can do this myself if I can find a good brand. So I tried a bunch of different brands and I found some really nice ones that were really affordable. However, the white tips would always chip off and then they just looked ratty and gross. So they were a no-go. And then I came across the Kiss brand at Priceline. So I thought I'd give them a try. And in the French manicure, they do the squoval ones, which are square slash oval. And I like the real short length, which is the shortest length you can get in their brand. So I started with those, but I'm definitely more a square edge kind of a gal. So I found on eBay that I could order the square length ones. These are the KSA 01 type. They do do a few different types of square and they all are slightly different. Um, so I grabbed these ones, which is the ones that I'm wearing today that I'm going to show you how I apply them and I love them so much. I really do like the squoval ones too. So if you prefer more of a oval rounded kind of a shape, something a little bit more softer, then these ones are really beautiful. This price line now kit retails for $17.99. Now I know that's not the cheapest set of nails. However, quite often they do have sales on. So I generally go down and pick up a couple of packets when they've got their sales on. And these ones just last way, way longer than the other brands that I've tried out. I get up to two weeks with these nails. And usually if one pops off, I can just pop it back on and keep going and I can get up to three weeks. So I'm more than happy to pay that. Plus it's still cheaper than going to the salon to get acrylics done or get gel nails or anything like that. So for me, this is just my preference. The white tip is actually acrylic. So it doesn't chip or break. It's a little bit thicker on the ends as well. And then towards the cuticle, it's nearly paper thin. So they don't even feel like you have anything on your nails. They feel real, they look real, but just like your nails but better kind of look. And that's why I love them so much. They feel so natural. But as I said, today I'm gonna to be showing you how I apply the square ones. They all apply the same way. They all come with the exact same kit. Now let me tell you though, it is a little bit of trial and error when it comes to applying press on nails and I am no expert at this. I'm still learning, but I've been doing it for a couple of months now, so I feel like I've kind of picked up some tips and tricks on the way, and that's what I really wanted to share with you today, is how I like to apply them so that they last for up to two weeks, they don't chip and discolor, but I'm really enjoying the process of doing this myself at home. I don't know, it just gives you <laughs> some kind of satisfaction to put these nails on yourself and People seem to really love them, so that's always a bonus. And there is also a little bit of prep work that I do before I go ahead and apply the nails. It definitely helps with the longevity of keeping them on for up to that two weeks. Some the Kaisy out there. I don't know what he's playing, but he's making the funniest noises. So here are my nails all done and looking fabulous and shiny and oh my gosh it just makes me feel so good when I've got nice nails on and they're not looking rat a tat tatty <laughs> and I can't wait to show you how I achieve these because it's so easy and you can really save yourself some money by doing it yourself at home. 
Now I know it's a bit of a luxury to go out and get pampered and have it done. I like to go out every now and then and do that, but I am not up for doing it every two to three weeks. That would just drive me insane. I just find it so much more convenient being able to do this myself at home after I've put the kids to bed, in the comfort of my own home and save myself some money as well. Like there are plenty of other things that I would like to be spending my cash on. <laughs> So if you'd like to see how I apply my kiss nails and keep them on as long as possible, looking as natural as possible, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this is what the kit looks like when it comes to you. You get your sample sizes to the front here and you also get their nail glue. I always use their nail glue. It's super, super strong and does the trick. And then if you lift them off underneath, you will see your little nail file kit and then the rest of the nails here. And within this kit, you get your little cuticle pusher as well, which is great. The only other thing that I go ahead and add on top of this is a cuticle oil at the end to place on your cuticles just to condition them and make them all nice and soft again. And I also have my little cuticle trimmers just to trim up any little excess bits of skin and it makes all of your nails just look so beautiful and salon quality. Okay guys, here are my <laughs> naked little fingies before I go ahead and pop the nails on. So as you can see, all right, Alfred's. I might have to let him in because he's just gonna sit there and cry. One second. <laughs> now he's in, so you're probably gonna hear all over the floor. Oh, he's trying to jump up. You wanna say hi? Okay, come on. <laughs> say hi. Do you want your nails done too, Elf? He's like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> all right, buddy, settle. Do you want a raw hide? <gasps> Would you like a bone? You want a bone? All right, I'll get your bone. <laughs> okay, sit. Up on here. Okay, sit, sit, stay. Let me see if you do these tricks for you guys. Stay, shake hands, give me a kiss. <laughs> yes, you good boy. Okay, good boy. <laughs> so he should be good for the next 10 minutes or so. So we better get cracking. So what I like to do first is open it up and get out all the little pieces I need. So I'll set aside my glue then you've got your tray full of your nails and then you've got your sample nails so these are the ones you're going to use to try against your finger so I'll just pull a random one out this one is number eight so you can see that little number eight on the tag there and you want to go ahead and grab out your little nail file and your cuticle pusher and set those aside. Now, I've already trimmed down my nails, so that would have been the first step. Second step is you wanna go ahead and push back all your cuticles, and I even like to push back the sides of my skin too. So I always like to prep the nail first, and then go ahead and pick out which size nail, because when you push everything back, it actually allows more room on the fingernail bed. So the size that you initially thought you would be maybe a little bit too small once you've gone ahead and done this. Once that's all done, I like to take my nail polish remover. This one contains acetone and it's good to do this because it removes any oils that may have been left on your nails. So I like to go ahead and do this step next. So I just give it a swivel in here. This one's from Mecca and I love it. It's so good in taking off your nail polish. Then I like to go ahead and take my nail file and I'll go ahead and file down just the very ends of my nails. And then this next step you don't have to do. I like to do this because I think it really helps with the longevity of keeping your nails on. And I just take the smoother side of the file, which is the light blue side, and I like to just rough up the surface of my nail. And this actually helps the glue and the nail adhere better to your nail bed. 
Okay, so now that all my nails are filed, I've roughed up the surface of my nail bed, I've pushed back my cuticles. You can take a pair of little cuticle clippers and go around and just remove any little snagged bits of skin or excess skin that you have sticking up just to clear those away. And this will really make your nails look so much nicer and neater if you go ahead and do this step. Okay, so now they're all nice and neat and tidy and it's gonna be a much better surface and canvas for the nails to stick down on. So once they're all prepped, you can then go ahead and size up your nails with the little sample pack. Just lay it on and push it down into my cuticles because when we go ahead and apply these, you're gonna really wanna push down into that cuticle so that you're not seeing any of the perimeter of the nail and that's what's gonna really keep the longevity of your nails. If they're tucked in, I know that sounds gross, but it's the truth. So if you have them pushed down and under your cuticle, like this, instead of sitting up where you can actually see where the nail meets your nail, it's gonna take a week to two weeks for that to then grow out to that initial spot. And that's when you start to lose your nails because the edges are exposed, things snag, eat more easily. So that's my little trick in getting them to last longer. I mean, you don't wanna push it down so hard that you're doing damage, but push it down enough that it's actually you can see it's sort of sitting underneath that cuticle there. Like that. Instead of sitting there where you can sort of see where the nails meet, push it down in. And that's going to really help keep that nail in place and grow out nicely. So I can see that that number eight fits really well on that finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it aside with another number eight from this pack. And I know that that's my middle fingers done. Then I'm gonna pick a smaller number. So I might go for 13. And I know that 13 fits on my baby finger really well. So the smallest one is always my baby finger. So I'll set that aside. And then you just continue on going through and sitting aside the nails in order so that it makes it easier for you to grab them when it comes time to pop them on. So here are all the nails lined up, starting from my thumb down to my baby finger. So they're all nice and neat and in order and I know which ones to grab for which. I actually knew which numbers I was going to be using in advance because I've used these nails before and I like to write down which numbers they are so I know which ones to just grab, I know they're going to fit and it always works out. I like to begin by applying the Kiss nail glue to my entire nail first and then following up with a fine strip along the cuticle end of the press on nail just to ensure it has enough adhesive on the tip when you go ahead and push the nail up into your cuticle. You want to also take your time in lining up the nail nice and straight before applying it as once the nail is on that glue is strong and there will be no budging it. I then firmly press the nail up into my cuticle and gently lower it onto my nail bed, adding pressure from the tip for the glue to spread out and all the air bubbles to be released. I hold this down for around 15 seconds and then press and run my fingers over the surface to make sure everything's stuck down correctly and to free any stubborn little air bubbles. I then go ahead and repeat this same procedure on the remaining fingers.
and then to remove the little nail tag you want to just press down on it gently and twist and then they just come off really easily. Okay, so here's what one hand looks like on compared to the other. So as you can see, it is a huge difference. I just, I love them so much. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and file them down afterwards, but I will show you that process in a moment. And now we'll go ahead and pop on the right hand. And I just wanna show you up close how seamless and natural the nail looks. See how you can't see where it finishes because it's pushed up against my cuticle. Okay hey guys, here are my nails all done and they're looking so much nicer. So now it's time to go ahead and just file them down a little bit because where the little end tags were connected, usually there's a little tiny bit left behind in the center of the nail. So you wanna go ahead and just really lightly file that little bit there smooth. And if you want to make them shorter you can go ahead and file them down a little bit further i like to make mine a little bit shorter than this i know that they are the real short ones and the shorter you have them the less likely they are to snag on anything and pop off and i just i don't like long nails on me it just drives me nuts so i'm going to go ahead and file them down a little bit here's what they are now so you can see them sort of just slightly above the tips of my nails and I only am taking off a fraction really. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you them when they're all done. Okay you guys, here they are all finished. I love them so, so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little do my nails with me video. I hope it's helped you and given you some tips in some ways. So now that they're all done, I like to go ahead and put just a little bit of cuticle oil on my cuticles just to put a little bit of moisture back into them. Try to avoid washing your hands or anything like that for the next couple of hours just so that you can allow time for that glue to bond to your nails and adhere correctly. Look, mine are definitely not perfect, not in the slightest but I do know that the Kiss Nails are my favorite by far that I've come across and the easiest to apply and the longest lasting as well. I mean, look at the tips of my nails. You can see how thick that white tip is. It's not going anywhere. I love that they don't chip like the other ones that I've tried in the past do. I really do get up to two weeks out of these. And if one pops off and it's still in good condition, I just rough back my nail, apply the glue and pop that nail back on and it lasts until I'm ready to take them all off. And when it comes time to taking them off, I don't like to soak them in acetone because it makes them all sticky and gooey and it just takes ages to get them off. What I like to do is wait until they're starting to lift off and when you know that they're at that point where you want to take them off and put on a new set, cut them down really short. With the nail clippers and this generally with that pressure of cutting down with the nail clippers, it helps them sort of release a little bit and to lift up and pop off. And if they don't pop off then, I like to go back in with my little cuticle friend and I like to just slightly lift them a little bit underneath and just go around the edge and when you start lifting them a little bit they tend to just pop off. I guess it creates 
that air bubble and then I like to leave my nails just to sit with nothing on them for one to two days just to let them breathe because they do feel a little bit tender once the nails come off and once you get all the glue off they can just be a little bit tender so it's good just to let them sit for a day or two and rest before you go ahead and put a fresh set back on so I really hope that this video helped you guys out if you're looking into trying press on nails highly recommend the kiss brand they are by far the easiest and the most long-lasting nails that I've personally come across so far and I've tried out quite a few recently <laughs> and I love these ones so much I just I love waking up with nice looking fresh nails it just I don't know makes me feel good about myself please go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it today and subscribe to my youtube channel and leave me a comment down below to let me know if you have tried the kiss nails or if there's another brand that you are using at the moment and loving love to try them out i love you all so very much and i look forward to seeing you all in my next video bye guys. Oh, oh, oh.